Senator Al Franken joins us now live. Senator, do you accept that explanation from the Attorney General? Not really, because uh, between, in between the revelation that he answered my question in what would at best be an extremely misleading way, uh, they, his office had said that he had no record. He had met with uh, the Russian ambassador, uh, but he hadn't. He didn't have any recollection of what the content of the uh, discussion was, and so that is the, that. So now we have a third iteration of this, which is I didn't discuss anything about the campaign. Well, first it is I didn't meet with any Russians. Second, then it's I met with. The Russian ambassador, but I don't remember what what I what we discussed. And then it's I, I these charges are terrible that I met with the Russian ambassador and discussed the campaign. We didn't discuss the campaign. These are all contradictory. Uh, I had simply asked him what would he do if he had learned that other members of the campaign had met with the Russians, hoping he would say he would recuse himself. He chose not to answer that, but instead chose to say that he had not met with the Russians. And of course, the ambassador from Russia is a Russian. Do you think that Sessions lied to you? I, I, I would say that at the very least, this was extremely misleading. I don't I would love for him, I'm going to be sending him a letter to have him explain himself, but he made a bald statement that during the campaign he had not met with the Russians. That's not true. Whether he in his head thought that he was answering whether he had talked to any Russians about the campaign, then he should have said so. He should have said, I met with the Russian ambassador a couple times, but we didn't discuss the campaign. But then his office shouldn't come out with an explanation saying he talked with the Russian ambassador, but he doesn't remember what he what they talked about. And he needs to explain himself here. And for him to get on his high horse and say, I don't know what all this is about, I just asked a question. And he was the one who offered this. I didn't ask him, have you talked to any of the uh, Russians during the campaign? I didn't ask him that. I asked him, what would you do if you learned that members of the campaign had met with the Russians? Hoping that he'd say he'd recuse himself in any investigation. Instead, he chose to answer the way he did, which again, as I said, is extremely misleading at the most charitable. Well, there are two basic defenses that are being offered up for Sessions. One is from the White House, and it's basically just a political blame game, and that's a distraction, so I don't really care about that. But the other one is that it's context, that he didn't think that the question was about meetings that pertained to the election, and they use his response to Senator Leahy of Vermont, who did one of the written questionnaires, uh, questions in the questionnaire, and he asked in that question, Several of the president-elect's nominees or senior advisors have Russian ties. Have you been in contact with anyone connected to any part of the Russian government about the 2016 election, either before or after Election Day? And Sessions answered in a word, no. Do you think it is a fair defense that he said no because, in his judgment, he never met with them about the election? Well, we don't know if that's true. We don't know if it's in his judgment he never met them about the election because he, listen, in, in the hearing, what I developed, that he had been, he misrepresented his record uh, as a prosecutor. He said that he had been, he personally handled four civil rights cases that he didn't personally handle. Mm -hmm. Was about so, his office. And then, and then he answered my question in a way that was either deliberately misleading or misleading because he literally didn't remember that he had met with the Russian ambassador or he interpreted my question differently. Look, this is an extremely serious matter. This is the other major foreign power interfering with, our, with the democratic election of the United States of America. 
nothing could be more serious. You know, Representative Tom Cole of uh, Oklahoma was on. He says the exact opposite. He says, look, you want to ask questions about Russia, that's fine, but that's not why you lost the election, you Democrats. And this is hysteria. And Jeff Sessions uh, didn't perjure himself. He just didn't think it had anything to do with the question you were asked about uh, whether or not the campaign was coordinating. And this is much ado about nothing. I think he said, tempest in a teapot. Your reaction? Okay, well, uh, there's all kinds of things in there. One, we don't know to the extent to which this interference, which was massive, they had thousands of trolls uh, on top of this uh, interference uh, of, this, of their hacking, putting out fake news. Uh, Cole misrepresents my question. My question was simply, uh, and it was a question that uh, Senator Sessions or Attorney General Sessions did not answer, uh, but, but there's no way for us to know whether or not this changed the election. For Cole to state that uh, categorically is obviously uh, unjustified. Uh, this was an election that was decided by 70,000 votes. And this was a massive uh, effort to change the uh, the election. So I, I would I would say that Representative Cole is way off base here, and I think that just is, is so self evident from uh, if if you know all the context of my questioning and the answer of of Senator Sessions. Now. One of the reasons it was so important to get you on this morning is that you had, uh, a, you know, for you, an essentially very animated um, argument about what your questioning was about and what you wanted. You got into it with Senator Cruz and Senator Cornyn about being misrepresented in terms of what you were trying to bring about in your own questioning. Um, what was well, that? that a but that was on a different matter. Right. That was on right. whether uh, Senator Sessions, who's... Uh, who had been turned down in 1986 right. for a federal judgeship because it was deemed that he uh, wasn't reliable on civil rights, tried to um, reinvent himself by in answering a questionnaire in, in, for our hearing, saying that he had, uh, of the 10 cases, most important cases that he personally handled for these civil rights cases, right. turns out that he did not handle them at all. Right. I so got that it was different subject matter, but I'm saying that you seem to be convinced that the senator wasn't being straight with you guys. Do you feel that this is another example of that? Uh, I, I do. I think this was extraordinarily misleading. That's why I'm writing a letter to him to clarify himself. I think he should do a press conference on this. And you think he because should recuse himself this, from any he should inquiries of Russia? Himself. I think he should recuse himself before knowing that members of the, the, my question on, on this matter came out immediately after it had been it had come out that members of the the uh, of the campaign of the Trump campaign had interacted mm -hmm. regularly with. The Russians. Right. So my question was, will you, was going to be, will you recuse yourself if that turns out to be the case? He didn't answer that part of the question. He said, I was a surrogate for the campaign and I never met with the Russians. The ambassador from Russia is a Russian. Right. True. Uh, last question. What do you think should happen next in this situation? You're sending a letter. You want more clarification. What else? I would like to, well, I would like to say, he should right now say, I recuse myself from any investigation by the FBI, any investigation. Uh, if we have to appoint a special prosecutor, I recuse myself from that process. He should say, like, it's clearly uh, legitimate for anyone listening to that answer of that question to not trust my veracity on this matter. I don't see how anyone, if, if he wanted to answer that by saying, uh, look, I, I've met with the 
Russian ambassador mm -hmm. a couple of times, but we did not discuss the uh, uh, the campaign or the election at that time. If he had said that, mm -hmm. that would be different. Then we would not be and, here having this conversation today. But that's not what he said. And now we're going to have to ask even more questions.